Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Body of missing bearer found in Gully. The body of a 26-year-old man who was reported missing last Saturday was found Tuesday morning in Mother White Gully of Spinestone Road in the vicinity of the Horizon Adult Remand Center in Kingston. He has been identified as Kemar Forbes, a bearer from a Greenwich Farm address. According to police sources, Forbes received multiple gunshot wounds to the head. It is suspected that Forbes was killed on Spanish Stone Road and later dumped in the gully. The Kingston Western Police were processing the scene. Man shot while working on wall at Holy Trinity High. A section of South Camp Road in Kingston was cornered off after a man was attacked and shot while working on the perimeter wall at the Holy Trinity High School. It is reported that the man was working on the wall when he was attacked by unknown assailants. Students and parents were sent campering after an outburst of gunfire. He was assisted to hospital by a taxi operator. Security guard beaten in attempted robbery at Mandeville ATM. A security guard was beaten by a gunman during an attempted robbery at the National Commercial Bank NCB automated teller machine ATM at Banco Small in Mandeville on Tuesday morning. A police source confirmed that the incident happened about 2 a.m. The source said the guard, who was on duty, was physically assaulted and had to be taken to hospital for treatment after the gunmen attacked him. The gunmen reportedly vandalized the ATM but were unsuccessful in removing cash from it. The Manchester police have increased their patrol close to the ATMs and money couriers. We have heightened our presence where criminals might target, said the source. This follows Sunday's brazen attack in Portmore St. Catherine on Berlin carriers. Three Berlin security guards were shot while servicing the automated teller machine at Scotia Bank in Britain Parkway. Clean March, the acting assistant commissioner of police in charge of crime, told reporters that robbers in Sunday's daring haste of the Berlin truck absconded with $23.2 million. He also revealed that the cops are pursuing several excellent leads to apprehend the perpetrators and that a breakthrough is imminent. No breakthrough in killing of Hanover makeup artists. Police have neither identified any suspects nor established a motive in connection with the stabbing death of 21-year-old makeup artist in Hanover over the weekend. Christopher Hibbert of a Hopewell address was reportedly killed at his business place by a man he had an altercation with around 5.45 p.m. on Saturday. Reports from the police were that Hibbert was inside the shop when a man visited him. It is further reported that shortly after, both men were seen in a physical confrontation. Hibbert was later seen suffering from what appeared to be multiple stab wounds inflicted by a ratchet knife. Hibbert was reportedly taken to hospital, where he died while undergoing treatment. Since then, the police have sought to apprehend the alleged killer who fled the scene. Following the incident, people have taken to social media claiming that the death of Hibbert was a crime of passion, while others have said it was a hate crime. However, the police, who did not give any details, told reporters that while it is said, they have no comment on the matter. Police call to Queens after incident involving students. School administrators were forced to summon the police to St. Andrew Bay's All Girls High School, Queens, on Tuesday morning after an incident involving students at the institution. It is understood that three students went on a roof and refused to come down. At least one of the students threatened to jump, reporters understand. It is unknown what caused the students to go on the roof, but reports suggest that an internal conflict between Ford Farm students is behind the decision. Police have declined to comment on the development, but our news to understand that a team of officers were at the school speaking to the students and principal. Further reports indicate there were a series of fights between students at the institution on Tuesday. Efforts to contact a member of the institution for comment were futile. Iron Dog charged with murder A man charged with the murder of a woman after a home in 2020 had his case postponed until it appeared in the St. James Circuit Court on Monday. 27-year-old Adrian Campbell, otherwise called Iron Dog, of Red Ground, Mount Pillar in the parish, has been charged with the murder of Venita Brown of the same community. She was 38 years old at the time. When the case was called up for mention before presiding High Court Justice Andre Thomas, the court was informed that Campbell's lawyer, Albert Markan, was ill. As a result, the Crown Council requested a new mention date, and the case was rescheduled for July 27. Meanwhile, Campbell, who had been granted bail in an earlier appearance, 
was brought back into police custody after failing to take up his bail. According to the allegations, at about 7.15 p.m. on September 23, 2020, Campbell Kick opened Brown's door and opened fire, hitting her in the upper body. He then escaped. Campbell was held by the police a few hours later at his home and charged with murder. Man who reportedly blocked a rescue bridge apartment charge. A St. Andrew man has been snapped with two charges after he reportedly broke into dancehall artist Kipridge Portmore St. Catherine apartment. Charge is 21-year-old Kemar Jones of an 11 miles Bull Bay St. Andrew address. The unemployed man who was on Monday charged with housebreaking and larceny following his arrest last week, a source close to the entertainer reported. It was reported that the culprit broke into the DJ's apartment between 10.15 and 10.45 a.m. on March 11 and took off with name brand sunglasses, jewelry and cash. Last Thursday afternoon, Kipridge had a change in fortune and collected his chain and Rolex at the Constant Spring Talks office in St. Andrew from an alleged bus driver after following several leads. He did not, however, recover the cash that was stolen. Sticky and a murder accused denied bail. Rashawn Patterson, the man who is charged with the murder of popular social media influencer Aninka Sikiana Thousand, has been denied bail. The denial was made by Justice Andrea Thomas when a bail application was made on Tuesday in the St. James Circuit Court. Justice Thomas, in handing down her ruling, said, In my view, the allegations of the Crown are serious enough and sufficient enough to force the view that, if granted bail, the accused man will not return. At this time, bail is denied. The court had stated, among other reasons, that Patterson is a flight risk and that based on his history, if given bail, he may not show up for court. The court also told Justice Andrew Thomas that Patterson has another case in court in the parish of St. Andrew. That case has to be done with an alleged abduction of a woman in 2018. The court told the court that Patterson was denied bail in that matter. Patterson is being represented by a new attorney, Diane Milley Barrett, who outlined reasons why he should be given bail. She said Patterson should be given bail on humanitarian grounds, and based on the witness of the Crown's case, Patterson was previously represented by Michelle Thomas. Mary Bart said her client, who is not a flight risk, suffers from two medical conditions and was in need of medical attention. She also claimed that he was in a danger while in custody. However, Justice Thomas in denying bail did not agree, claiming that the Crown has strong evidence. She pointed to conflicting information that Patterson reported gave the police surrounding reports of thousands prior to her body being found. Justice Thomas, before giving Patterson on September 21 court date return, said she was satisfied that the police will be able to take care of his medical condition while in custody. Thousands' scantily clad body was retrieved from the sea in Reading St. James on October 21. On November 11, the police had stated that Thousand travelled from Kingston to Montego Bay where she was picked up by Patterson at approximately 7.30 p.m. on October 20. During the evening, they visited a restaurant in Hanover and a guest house in St. James. At some point during the night, an argument reported developed between them. Patterson is accused of strangling Towson and disposing of her body. Patterson was named as a person of interest on October 22. He was picked up at a guest house in Hanover by a police era 1 operational team on November 2 after missing at least two deadlines to turn himself in. 19-year-old charge after allegedly shooting man in shoulder, abdomen. A 19-year-old has been charged with wounding with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition following an incident in his community in Kingston on Thursday, October 6, 2022. Charge is Sean Samuels, otherwise called Doc Doc, of Smith Lane in the parish. Reports from the Kingston Central Police are that about 7.35 p.m., the complainant was at his gate when Samuels opened gunfire hitting him in the shoulder and abdomen. The police were summoned and the complainant was assisted to the hospital, where he was treated and released. During a targeted operation, Summers was arrested on Monday, March 13. He was later charged on Saturday, March 18, after a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. Police probing suspected joining of German man in St. Anne. The police in St. Anne are probing what is believed to be a case of joining involving a German man at a beach in Party on Monday. The deceased has been identified as 56-year-old Christoph Schorbar. It is believed that Christoph suffers from epilepsy condition. Reports are that sometime after midday, when circling and got into difficulties, 
He was transported to the St. Antony Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The St. Anne Police are investigating. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and